Yes! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today is going to start the Skultimate Secret videos. It's gonna be every day, so, um, Dracula's first, because she's popular, and we'll probably get the most views. <laughs> also, because Democracy, and I think she won on here, and I know she won on Instagram, so, you know, Democracy. Anyways, I bought her on Paul's Mart's website. That's where I've been buying all my G3 and Monster High releases lately, because, like, they just get them earlier, and I don't want to hassle with finding it at Target or Walmart. So, Paul Smart is the way to go. Sponsor me. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but that'd be nice. And I'm very excited because this is a very anticipated G3 line. I'm very curious to see what the quality is like. So let me roll my intro real quickly and we can get started. Go. No. Sup. We're looking at Skulltum and Secrets. This is a brand new Monster High G3 line. I'm not sure when it's like officially coming out. I got this for $39 on their website. I believe it's going to be $29 in store. Once again, if you buy from Paul Smart, you really don't pay tax or shipping. So that extra $10 is probably how much that would have been if you bought this in the store. But I have all five of the dolls. So, you know, come back every day and we're going to get some cute little videos. Let's look at it. Ah! Right off the bat, the box is like really, really heavy because it's plastic. It's a whole <laughs> coffin. As you can see, there is brand new artwork for G3 and I'm so happy they changed the artwork. I was trying to be very nice about the artwork in my videos, but it was quite awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this looks so much better. This is from Darko. Darko always does amazing art, but uh, I'm so happy they changed the artwork. But we have this really beautiful illustration illustration of Draculaura. This is 125 possible looks you can do with this doll. It also has her little signature, Draculaura. There's a locker right here that says there's a color reveal aspect because you know it's Mattel. It will be the key. In the middle there is a logo. It says Skultimate Secrets and it says Monster High in the middle. It looks like a lock. And there are 19 plus surprises and obviously a poseable doll is inside. If you flip it to the back of the box we have that same logo. It says 125 plus looks and 19 surprises. And here are the other four ghouls you can possibly get in the collection. We have Frankie, Cleo, Claudine, and Laguna. And and there is a Monster High website. And there is her barcode in case you are looking for them. The packaging for this is pretty much just a plastic slip that goes all the way around and then everything else is in their compartment. So let's get this open. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's very simple to unbox. Um, the door is really just a spider web, and it has a skeleton in the middle and pink. And yeah, it's very, very, very cute. And to open it, then there's a little thumb hole so you can put your finger through. Rude. And inside, it's very dark, but you can see Draculaura is just chilling out. I can't tell if she's wonky at the moment, but we will once I open her up. She is in there with some instructions, which I will obviously be needing to read. But before we get her out, let's look at her locker door. So she has a bunch of little photos and a little bulletin board. So she has a picture of Frankie and Claudine. There's her favorite, and there's a picture of her hand and Claude's hand in a G1 style holding up a trophy that says dance. Um, and then there is a picture of her and Torlai because they're both on the cheer team, I believe. And her birthday is Valentine's Day. So now guys, we need to open Draculaura. I'm not sure if this like card will like just slide out. So the answer does come out. It's a little finicky, but now we can open Draculaura. And the back of her card looks like she's just getting ready. So here is our Draculaura doll, all out of her packaging. She's actually really, really pretty. Her hair has a bunch of product up here to keep it down and the part, but the rest is pretty nice. Um, let me show you everything that was with her. I love how I'm just shaking her around. So in the packaging, she came with this skelet key that is black. Obviously, she comes with a lot more accessories, but we're going to have to open them key by key. The first key we have is with the doll in her packaging, which will unlock probably the light pink box first, but we have to color reveal it. If you're unaware of color reveal, it's something that Barbie does and you just put this in some water and it should dissolve the paint. Our once black key is now hot pink, so I definitely recommend using hot water and not cold like I did. But before we start unlocking, let me just show you the Draculaura doll as a whole, and then we can start looking at all the extra clothes she comes with. So it's your normal standard Draculaura doll. She even has the chest articulation. She just has a black hair on the bottom and hot pink on the top, and she has her V-cut bangs. They're just fully black this time. I really do like the color that they chose and the way they did it. It looks really cool. It definitely needs a boil wash to look really nice. As for Draculaura's makeup, they finally did something different. So we have purple on the lid and pink around the lower eye. Still has her pink eyes and her black beauty mark that is in the shape of a heart. But she also has on some hot pink lipstick, some little vampire fangs. Then if we look at her outfit that she comes wearing in the box, she is wearing this cute little black top. Has some white hemming at the edges. The print is black and has some hearts that are pink and white. And it is made of a really soft cotton. The middle has two actual ribbons that are a light pink and a dark pink. Of course it velcros in the back. Then for her shorts, there are these like vinyl PVC kind of shorts 
shorts. I thought they were gonna be just like the ones she came wearing with her basic, but they are kind of similar. As you can see, they're white and have a bunch of pink designs on it, like hearts and other things. It's really cute. Bottoms have more of that PVC, but it's white ruffles. And that also Velcros in the back. As for her shoes, this is a new mold. We love new molds. <laughs> they're these black strappy little wedges that have purple bottoms. The bottoms have a bunch of bat. And there are pink little hearts on the straps that are going around her calves. And the bottoms are spiderweb. These are definitely really cute shoes. I'm excited to see what the other ones are. I've kind of forgotten what all of the pieces look like for this set. So it will actually be a surprise. <laughs> okay, but now that we pretty much looked at Draculaura, let's see all the other clothing accessories she gets. So the first key we got is going to unlock this big hot pink little drawer. So we're gonna unlock our first door. So let's do that, shall we? And of course, inside we have some blind bags. So there's one giant blind bag inside of the first locker and it is made of paper. So I'm very happy about that. It's pink and has a bunch of bat hearts and all that jazz. So in the first thing, we got a bunch of accessories. First, we get this really cute beret that is pink and has a spiderweb kind of design on the top. It is made of a harder plastic, not material, which would have been cooler if it was material. And in the center, we have a black little bat bow with a heart in the center that is white with little white dots. And this just fits on top of Draculaura's head. She also has this necklace. It's a pearl necklace, but it looks like it could be two at the same time. So we have pearls on the top and a normal necklace on the bottom. Let's put that on her as well. She also came with a set of ear and they're in a lavender color and they look like they're beaded. There's a little bat heart on the bottom and a bunch of little beads. And this is what Draculaura is looking like so far with all of her little accessories. You also get the next key, which we're gonna have to color reveal once more. So the next key is the lavender. Key. Let's open that up right quick. Love how that just launched. So in this bag, we got a key ring so we can now start adding all of our keys to the ring so we don't lose them. It's pretty much just a skelet. And in that bag, we got our second pair of shoes. And yes, these are a hundred times better than the one she's wearing right now. They're these really cool hot pink heels that have a chunky heel and they are very glossy and shiny. There's like a little strappy detail right there, a black bat in the center, and the heel is a bow and it's just really chunky. It also has some cutouts of hearts and the bottoms have a little heart. These are definitely now my favorite pair of Monster High shoes from G. And we have another key. Our next key is a light pink one, which is located on the way top. So yeah, it was clothing and our last key. So first we have this cute little white top that has no sleeves and it has a cute little lacy collar. It's white and has some gray details on it. Then we have her second skirt, which is made of a really, really soft material. It's very much reminding me of old Monster High. It's black and it has a bunch of little hearts on it with a lavender a little bow. And last but not least, we have her like little puffy jacket thingy. The main portion of it is made of a hot pink like PVC. And then her little poofy sleeves are made of the same material as that skirt we just saw. And there's black material at the cuffs, but yeah, yeah, now we have one more thing to open, so let's see what it is. And it's right down here. I actually don't remember what else came with this doll. <laughs> Okay, so we got just a bunch of accessories. So the first thing we got is a box of those like really good like animal crackers that are like covered in like frosting and sprinkles, but Monster High version. And there's nothing else on it. It's just a piece of black plastic. Next, she has a bag of cotton candies or lollipops. We got a little slushy cup that is lavender and it has a transparent purple top that does open. There's a decal in the center that's black and has a little heart with vampire teeth. Now guys, I'm gonna go get her into her second outfit and we can see what she looks like. So um, BRB. So here is Dracula and all the extra accessories she got. This look is kind of bad <laughs> but um let me style it a little bit with different pieces and see which one i like best so i'm not sure if i like this <laughs> i kept the shirt under and put the other one over i don't know it kind of looks funky um let me just try it without the shirt real quick i feel like i like this fit the most because it is very matchy matchy but um let me know you guys' thoughts on all of her clothing pieces this is what her shoes look like and i really think these are great monster high shoes for g3 at least but anyways guys let me go get her pose with her little locker and we can end off this review so one last thing before we end off this review is the locker can be mounted to your wall. All you have to do is put two little screws into your wall that will match up with the locker and it will just hang on your wall. It's kind of a cool concept. I didn't expect that to be part of it, but um, I guess it's a cool way to display the doll inside of her locker or just to have like some little wall decor. Okay guys, so I put her into the fit that was on the art on the box and it looks kind of cute. Um, let me know your thoughts on how it looks on the actual doll compared to the art. But this ends off the first of many Skultimate secret reviews. <laughs> Definitely learned something. So for the next 
reviews, it might be a little cleaner. <laughs> so what are my thoughts on Skultimate Secrets? I think the line is really cute. If it is going to be $30, I think you do get a lot of stuff for that price point. For $30, the quality of the clothes isn't up to par with Rainbow High, but it is Monster High quality if you're used to Monster High. I think for $30, you do get a good amount of stuff, including a little play set. Some of the pieces are eh, some are actually really cute. I really like the shorts. I loved her second pair of shoes the most. I like this top and the skirt that matches it a lot too. I'm not really a fan of this like puffy area right here, but I do love the beret. And something I found out is you don't need to really do the color coordinating to the keys. You could really unlock any of them with any key. So you don't have to do the color reveal if you don't want to. Do I think Dracula is worth picking up? I think so. I think she's a pretty good doll, um, especially if you're going to restyle her. A lot of people already have since they've been getting theirs from a Paul Mart. Not sure when these are going to hit stores like Target, Walmart, Amazon, but they should be popping up really soon. But I really want to know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this new line? Do you think they should do a series two? I would love to see other characters get introduced in this line as well. Once again, I got this at Paul Mart. It might be in stock as we speak. I might just put a link down below to their website. But yeah, guys, if this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I'd love you guys to join the channel. If you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, I am at ZombieXCorn there as well. And guys, come back tomorrow and you will see another review of the Skultimate Secrets line. So yeah, until then, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.